Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add search bar in WordPress Elementor. So let's just begin. Okay, so to add the search bar, all you need to do is to install the plugin. Okay, so first of all, we have to go inside the plugin and we have to click on the add new. And from here, we have to search for the element kit. Okay, all right, so we have to search for the element kit. And as you can see here, we have this at the top of the search element kit Elementor add on by the WP Med. So I have already installed and activated this. So all I need to do is to go inside the LMS kit header and the footer. So let's click here. So from here, as you can see here, I have already created the header. Okay. To add the search bar, first of all, you need to create the header using LMS kit. All right. So I have already created this and the process is really simple. Okay. So now let's click on the edit with Elementor. Okay, so as you can see our header here, so in our header, we have our logo and we also have the navigation menu here. Okay, so all I need to do is to create one more column here. So how can we do that? Do the right click here. And as you can see here, we can add the new column here. So let's click here and we have added the new column. Okay, so now I will just simply drag this and put this into the end on the right side. Okay, so what we need to do, we have to click on the add here and now we have to search for the search here okay so as you can see the header search here by ekit so we have to drag this and we have to put this here and this is how we can add the search bar okay so now let me just adjust the size of the columns here okay so i have to decrease the size here okay so it would work fine okay so from here we can actually edit our search bar so if i just want to change the text in the placeholder i can simply do it from here so i just simply write down search for products Okay, and if you want to change the icon, you can simply do it from here. So let's click on the icon library and let's just write down the search here. And you can simply add any search icon from here. So I would simply like to use this icon. Click on insert and we have changed our icon here. And if you want to change the size of the icon, you can simply do it from here. Okay, so as you can see here, this is how you can change the size of the icon. So I would like to go to this to 20. Okay, so now if I just click on the search bar, it would have this pop up and from here you can simply search for your products. So as you can see our placeholder text here. So if you want to change the placeholder text again, you can simply do it from here. And if you want to customize the search bar, you'll simply click on the style. And from here, as you can see here, we have the color, we have the background color. So let's just uh, give it a background color from here. Okay, so now you can see the background color here. So we can actually go with anything here. So let's just reset the values. And in the similar way, you can change the text color and we also have the border tab. So if you want to change the value of the border, you can simply do it from here and we have the box shadow. And if you want to give the radius to the border, you can also give the values to it. We have the margin, we have the padding, and you can also change the width height and the line height of our icon bar. And we have this alignment as well. So you can see this, we can change the alignment of our search bar. And we also have the search container. So let's click here. So if I just click on the search icon, so this is actually the search container. So if you just want to change the text color or the placeholder color here, you can simply do it from here. So let's try to change the color of the placeholder. You can see that from here, we can simply change the color of our placeholder. So I would keep it a little grayish color here. And in the similar way, you can change the border type. So if I just change the value here to the none, you won't be able to see the border here. So let's just put the value to the default and you can change the value of the border radius. You can change the height, you can change the width. And we also have this icon left position that you can see here. We can change the position of this icon. And we also have the background overlay color. So as you can see the dark color here. So if I just change the value here, you will be able to see the difference in the background overlay color. Okay, so I will just keep the value to the default value. And you can also change the alignment of the container here. You can add the padding. And in the last, we also have the close button, which you can see here at the top right side. All right, so let's just click here. And from here, we can change the border radius. We can change the size. Okay, you can see here. And you can see the change in the size here. So I just go with the default value here. And we can also set the text color and the background color from here as well. All right, so now let's just close this and click on the update. And let's just go back to our website. And if I just click on the view page, now you will be able to see our header with our search bar so now if i just click this you will be able to see this pop-up screen with this search container and we have this placeholder text so we can simply search anything from here all right so this is how we can add the search bar in the wordpress using elementor and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel